Hey there! In this video, we'll dive into the fundamental building blocks of messaging, including messages, channels, queues, and queue managers, which are all called the messaging objects. We'll learn about the roles and how they work together to create a seamless messaging environment. First, let's talk about messages. Messages are the heart of the messaging system, and they come in three key parts. First, we have the payload. This is the actual content of the message, which can be anything from plain text to binary data. We also have the descriptor, which is the message's ID card containing important metadata like the message type, priority, and more. And we also have the properties. These are metadata attributes associated with the message that can be used for filtering, routing, or providing additional context. These properties can include priority levels, content type, message expiration time, and custom properties specific to a particular application. It's like sending a letter. You have the content inside the envelope, the address and postage on the outside, and the whole package gets delivered. Next up, we have channels, the highways of the messaging world. Channels are the communication pathways that enable messages to travel between the queue manager networks. Channels are very configurable in MQ, but broadly, they are just two types. Sender channels, these initiate the connection and send messages. And receiver channels, these accept incoming connections and receive messages. Imagine our message is a car and the channels are the roads taking it to its destination. Channels define certain behaviors in your messaging system and it allows you to access certain objects. Now let's explore queues, the inbox of our messaging world. Queues are responsible for temporarily storing messages until they are processed by receiving applications. There are different types of queues and for various purposes, like local queues. They hold messages for local applications. Remote queues. They act as placeholders pointing to a queue on another queue manager. And alias queues. They are nicknames for other queues, making it easy to switch between target queues. Queues ensure messages are kept safe and organized, ready for delivery when the time is right. Finally, we've got the queue managers, the traffic controllers of the messaging world. Queue managers are responsible for managing the overall flow of messages. They create and host queues, channels, and other messaging objects. They also handle message routing, security, and recovery, ensuring messages reach their destination safely and efficiently. In addition to all of that, queue managers play a crucial role in holding and managing storage for messages, ensuring that the messaging system can handle high volume of data without compromising performance. And there you have it, the key building blocks of IBM MQ, messages, channels, queues, and queue managers. Each plays a vital role in ensuring that messages are transported, stored, and managed efficiently. Together, they create a powerful and seamless messaging environment that can drive your business forward.